always thought, oh my god, so annoying when people say like, I'm sorry, how I look today, blah blah blah, I understand now. I tried to film this like five times and whatever. So let's talk about ergonomics. <laughs> Maybe first, why I want to talk about ergonomics? Because people think that uh, interior designers are not needed, that everyone that has a style can do it. Um, well, not really, because you are thinking about decorations, like how it looks, aesthetically pleasing, yes, that's important, but how will you feel? What will your health look like 10 years from now? This is kind of important as well. So ergonomics can help you uh, improve and maintain health, posture, movements, uh, ergonomic interior uh, allows easy access, like reaching for something is easy and effective, so that's important. We all know we need furniture, table for eating, chair for sitting, desk for working at the computer, um, bed for sleeping, but we interior designers keep asking uh, measurements, dimensions, uh, placements between furnitures, placements in the space, uh, traffic zones. Also, we want to know about materials, colors, uh, safety precautions, about light, ergonomic furniture dimensions, dimensions uh, between the furniture allows you not to worry about uh, hitting something, making something fall over, like make free movements and things to consider while choosing dimensions. How many people will work or live there? What kind of activities will happen in this room? Where will be the traffic zones where the most activity happens? Like for example, in the kitchen uh, hallway. Is there needed specific adjustments for people living, working there? Another thing that is super important is light. Ergonomic light can help you maintain good eyesight. Bad light can even negatively impact your nerve system, uh, for example, like flickering light. And actually, we have to consider a lot of things while choosing light. For example, bulb type, colors, temperature, light intensity, light fall off, possible glares, direction of light and other things. And while we are on topic about light, I want to mention colors. Colors can also uh, negatively impact eyesight. For example, staring for a long period of time at the bright neon wall can tire your eyes. From floor materials till the finishes on the light switches, everything has to be logical safe and suitable for you. Some examples. If you have to often stand in the particular room, particular space, uh, you have to stand, walk, the floor density should be a little bit lower than usual to take pressure off your feet. If there is harsh lights in the space, the finishes shouldn't be that reflective to avoid glares. And if you live in the warm climate, your fabrics, for example, on furniture, on bedding, should be from natural materials, should be breathable, like cotton or linen. Ergonomics in public spaces. Uh, you can watch the video about universal design that I made, because there are the things we have to be aware of when creating interior for everyone. And there is also like ergonomics and universal design goes hand in hand. Hopefully I managed to explain the importance of ergonomics and what we as interior designers do. We don't do only decorating and thank you for watching.